Hey what's up guys welcome to Cubic Soul YouTube channel and in today's video we will learn how we can upload a game on Play Store to upload a game on Play Store you need you will need two files first of all here you can see that uh, this is our AAB file with .aab extension which means android app bundle so you can generate it from unity or whichever IDE you are using and the second thing you will need a key store file you can also generate it easily by using key unity or whichever id you are using so first of all you have to open the google and here you have to search for google play developer here you can see that i will open this first link you have to open type click on this button go to play console and from here you can see that it is suggesting me our developer account so i will click on my developer account so this is our dashboard and first of all we have to click on create app here we have to type your app name from here you have to select your default language and my default language will be english united states and from here you have to select that whether your app is a game or an app but in my case uh, we are going to upload a game so i will select this game and from here you have to select uh, that your app or game is free or paid so in my case my game is absolutely free to play so i will select the free and from here you have to uh, tick on these agreements and us export law so here you can see that i have select these three options and next you have to click on create app button in the below section just click on this button now you will come to your dashboard and from here you have to click on set up your app click on view tasks so you have to complete these tasks to upload your game uh, the first one is set privacy policy and inside this you have to paste a website links uh, suppose www.abc.com slash privacy policy so you have to paste your privacy policy link here so when your user will come on the play store your user will easily be able to click on this link and he can read your app or game privacy policy from your website so here you can see that uh, this is the instruction from google first of all i'm going to paste my link here which is cubicsoul.com slash game privacy policy and click on save button so guys our privacy policy have been saved and uh, again you have to click on this back button and uh, you can see a line on set uh, privacy policy it means we have complete our first step and after this you have to click on your second step which is app access so here it is asking you two options okay guys from these two options you can see that it is asking you that if parts of your app are restricted based on login credentials membership locations or other form of validations i mean form authentication then you will need to select all or some functionality is restricted but in my case no functionality is restricted so i will click on the first one and i will press the save button and now the next step is you have to again on this dashboard button and we have followed the two steps and now next we have to click on this third step which is ads it is asking you that uh, did your app contain ads again you have to click on this dashboard back press button and now you have to select the content rating okay guys from here you have to click on start questionnaire and uh, inside this section you have to answer your question which will be asked by google play so first of all it is asking our email address so here you can see that i have put an email and here it is asking you that what is the category of your app so in my case the category is game you have to click on this next button you can see this next button in the below right section of your screen so click on this next button and from here it will ask you some questions that violence or blood did your game appear displaying some blood or some violence things so i will select on no and next it is asking that did the sound of your game or something like pictures or some videos are these stuff making fear for the user i will select the no sexuality so i will also select the no simulated gambling rear gambling or cash payout so in this case i will select no but you have to read these questions carefully and if in some case your app or your game exist in the yes section so you have to click on this yes option at last it is asking does the game contains any potential offensive language please this question does not refer to user generated content so in this case i have to select the no and uh, again select no contains any bodily function such as okay in this case we also have select no so in this case we also have to select no does the game share the user's current and precise physical location with other users no 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 also select the no 
and at the last answer we will select the no option and then click on save button click on next again press on submit button so our this section is also completed again click on back dashboard button and next you have to select the target audience so guys in my case we are targeting from 13 to 15 years age of peoples and uh, click on next button and now it is asking that could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children uh, so guys we need to do a little bit changes uh, in these options so i'm then going to select these three options not only 13 to 15 but we have to select 13 to 15 16 to 17 and 18 and over click on next button and from here select the yes button that could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children uh, because my app can appeal to children unintentionally so i will select the next uh, click next and click on save button again click on this dashboard back button and now we have to click on news apps so it is asking that is your app a news app so i will select no and click on save button again click on dashboard back button and now it is asking that covid19 contact tracing and status apps okay now here it is giving us three options first option is my app is publicly unavailable COVID-19 contact tracking so I will not select this one my app is publicly available COVID-19 status apps we have to also deselect this and last it is displaying me the option that my app is not publicly available COVID-19 contact tracing or status app so in my case I will select the third option if your app contains anything about COVID-19 you can select these options according to your requirements and next we have to click on the save button again click on dashboard back button and next we have option is data safety so click on this okay guys the next option is data safety so i will select this option data safety and uh, click on next button and it is asking me that does your app collect or share any of the required users data in my case the answer will be no and next it is asking that is your app currently certified by an authorized lab so in my case i will select no click on next button click on submit button so our this option have also been completed and now again click on back and next it is asking for select an app category and provide contact details so it is asking me that whether our app is app or game so i will select game and category in my case i will select from here casual and you can add tags and at this place it is asking me the email address so i will add my email address which is developer.cubicsoul at the rate of gmail.com and next it is asking for our website so our website is https www.cubicsoul.com at this place you can give your phone number and these two options are optional you only have to put your email address and you can leave these two options but i have entered my website name and from here it is asking that uh, do you want to market your app outside to the google play because i want to market that i will mark this option and next we have to click on save button and again click on this back dashboard button okay guys from here we have to select our app icon so i will click on this upload button and my app icon exists on this folder so this is my app icon you can select from your own computer and next we have to click on open and from next it is asking for feature graphic i will select upload button and uh, my feature graphic exists here again click on open okay it is asking me that correct your dimensions of the image so let me correct our dimension so this time i am going to click all apps so i will again click on my this app and at last it is displaying me an option set up your store listing so this is our one of the final step first of all you have to enter your app name then you need to add a short description about your app so i have typed this content already here so this is my short description and here i have to type my full description of the app so i will copy this description and paste here so guys I have correct our image size so I will again click on replace button and this time I will select this image and press open button so you can see that our feature graphic has been uploaded successfully and now it is asking for you for a video from YouTube so if your app have or game have a video that you have uploaded on YouTube you can give that videos link here but this is optional and at last but not the least you have to select some screenshots for the phone so i will click on this upload button i have two screenshots here and press open you can upload up to eight screenshots of your app or game and now it is asking for seven 
inch tablet screenshots so at this place i will select my these two screenshots and at last it is asking me for 10 inch tablet screenshots so in this case i will also select the same screenshots and press on open that's it guys we have uploaded our multimedia and the description and name and short description of our app and i will click on this save button and guys next you have to click on all apps again click on this app so now i will select this option start testing now and create a new release click on this icon and click on create new release button and from here we have to upload our and dot aab file of our game or our app so i will click on this upload button and from here i will select my dot aab file which is exist here in this folder so guys here you can see that this is our dot aab file it means that dot android app bundle select this one and press open so from here you can see that it have automatically created a release name you can update this or you can remain it as it is and next you can type some release notes here but uh, it is optional and now click on save or you can directly click on review release button so guys by doing these steps uh, you can upload your app or game to google play store your game will be on review for two to three days and after the google developers will review your app and then if your app will be reviewed successfully by the google team then they will upload your app to the play store and your app or your game will be available to the millions of users so i hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section and we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and finally thanks for watching